happy with just a southern girl. Today I'm going to make a ground beef and potato casserole. And in this pan I have one pound of ground beef. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of, well, a little more pepper because I'm using cream of mushroom soup and it has a lot of salt in it. I have a medium onion diced. And I just ran it through my chopper. You don't have to really dice it that fine. I'm going to add a little shake of onion powder. Well, that was a little more than a cake, but about, about a half a teaspoon or a little more. And a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to go ahead and brown this up. And then we're going to cut the potatoes. I have started a pot of water boiling. And I'm going to let this brown and cut the potatoes. And then we'll put it together. Alright. I have about three medium potatoes. And this is only for two people. So I'm going to go ahead and... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to peel these. And, cut and slice these and we're going to boil them for about five minutes just until they start to get tender because you don't want to leave them raw because you have to put this in the oven and it takes forever to get them done this is a good little go-to casserole so i'm going to cut these potatoes about that thick you can cut them a little thicker since you are going to boil them. But you don't want to get them too tender when you boil them. Or they'll fall apart. So you just want to get them until the outside looks starts looking done and the inside is fork tender. But not, not done at all. I'll finish getting all this put together and get these in the water and I'll bring you back. Alright, my... Um meat is brown and I'm gonna go ahead and drain some of this grease I'm just gonna put a couple of paper towels in here and just run around like that the waters came to a boil for the potatoes so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in there Put this on for a second there's my water so I'm just gonna put my potatoes in there and I'm going to boil these for about five minutes no longer I have my oven preheating to 375 alright with the, the ground beef I'm going to turn it back around I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup Cream of mushroom. And it all came out. I can't believe it, y'all. Alright, to this I'm going to add about a fourth cup of milk. And I'm going to have to get the milk and I'll bring you right back. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to add about a fourth cup of milk. Ooh. <laughs> Hadn't done a video in a while, y'all. A fourth cup of milk. And I'm going to stir this up. This is very simple. I'm just kind of making it complicated. I'm sorry. And I'm going to stir this up and let it simmer for a few minutes. And then we'll put this casserole together. Alright. I've buttered my casserole dish. This is a small one. Like I said... If you want to double this, just add more potatoes, like double them. And I would go with about a pound and a half of ground beef. And maybe a large size can of cream of mushroom soup. And I'm going to put about half of these potatoes in here. They're real hot. I'm not going to touch them. I'm going to put these in there. And remember, they're not done. Just going to put a layer of potatoes. 
this is a, actually a bigger casserole dish than I wanted, but I can't find my other one. I'm moving stuff around. I'm <laughs> Y'all know how that is. Ooh. And my light fell. Oh, you just can't make it up. But I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Okay, let me get that out of the way. All right, I hope y'all can see good. Something else to fix today. I just want to have a layer of potatoes on the bottom. And I'm going to put half of the meat mixture. And then some cheese. I'm using Colby Jack cheese. But you can use whatever you want. You can use sharp cheddar. You can use... And I really like mozzarella on here. That's really good. But I just didn't want to shred any this morning. Like I said, I'm busy doing things and trying to get things prepared. So. Convenience. All convenience. So a layer of the meat and a layer of cheese. And you just have to measure this with your heart. Y'all know that. I like to get it covered pretty good. My cat is over here going crazy. That's what you hear. I, I promise nothing else is falling. Oh, it's one of them days, y'all. One of them days. I'm going to go ahead and layer the rest of the potatoes. Excuse me a minute. Ruby, will you stop, please? She hears the cheese, y'all. She hears it. Cats are not like dogs. They won't be patient at all. I'm getting some. Just wait a minute. I probably could have used another potato. But. We don't eat a whole lot. Especially my husband, so. I don't like to waste. So this is all you really need for two people. I'm going to go ahead and just... This water is still hot. I left a little bit down in here. But this is a good casserole. I've been making this for a very long time. And I usually do use mozzarella cheese. And I've never seen anybody else use that. But it's good. It's really good. So... Another layer of potatoes, another layer of the meat. I'm going to cover this and bake it in the oven on 375. Probably about 35 minutes. Sometimes it takes up to 45. Just stick a fork in there and make sure your potatoes is done. That's what you're trying to do. And cover it or it will burn. The next layer of cheese. I'm going to put one more. And I'll bring you back when it's done. Alright, it's been 40 minutes. And this should be done. I'm just going to check it by sticking my fork. Potatoes are tender. And it's time to eat, y'all. I'm going to make a little salad and we're going to have dinner. Y'all make you some. Thanks for watching.